this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import AliExpress reviews into your Shopify store. So the two apps that you're going to need are the AliExpress review importer and judge.me product reviews. And to get those reviews, you're just going to click right here, visit Shopify app store, do a search for them, and then go ahead and download them into your store. Once you do download those into your store, they're going to be under the apps section. And so now I'm going to get into how exactly you import those reviews that are in AliExpress into your uh, Shopify store. So I use Oberlo to import products into my store. So I'm going to go ahead and open Oberlo in a separate tab. And then I'm going to open up AliExpress Review Importer into a separate tab. And then I'm going to open up Judge.me Product Reviews in a separate tab. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is go into the tab I opened for Oberlo. And then I'm going to hover over this icon right here and click on My Products. And then this is going to bring me to a page with all of my Alec or all of my products that are in my Shopify store. Since I've already been doing this, I'm going to go to page four because that's where I left off at. Now, the product that I left off at is going to be this multifunction four in one kitchen dispenser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the title of that which is going to open up this page and then I'm going to click on view product on AliExpress. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up the product in AliExpress and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the URL which if you can't see it it's this right here I'm going to go ahead and copy that And now I'm going to go to the AliExpress review importer that I also opened up in a separate tab. And now you're going to, this may not make sense, but it's going to make sense as to why I did it in these steps right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on import reviews from AliExpress. And then in here, you're going to paste the URL that you copied from AliExpress. And now I'm going to go back to Oberlo to get the name of this product. So it's multifunction kitchen cling film. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that tab. And I'm going to go back to the AliExpress review importer. I'm going to paste multifunction right here. Or hold on, maybe that's not what it was called. So yeah, multifunction. Let me try four and one. So basically what you're going to do in here is type in part of the name of the product in Shopify and it's going to search your store for whatever you type in. So we're looking at the multifunction four in one kitchen dispenser for aluminum foil, cling fill and kitchen towel. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So just to recap what we did um, in in AliExpress review importer we copied the URL of the product from AliExpress because that's where it's going to get the reviews from and then we searched for the title of the product in Shopify here and selected it so that this AliExpress review importer knows which product it's getting these reviews for. Now for me I wanted the minimum rating to be three stars or more um, I left all the countries filters selected um, and then I selected only reviews with text content and with a minimum amount of three words and then we're going to translate to English via AliExpress and the number of reviews that I wanted to import was 10 so once we have all that selected we're just going to click on import reviews and then as you can see in the bottom left, it says reviews are being imported in the background. 
So now what I'm going to do is go back to Oberlo. I'm going to go to the next product, which is the Travel Drawstring Cosmetic Bag. We're going to click on the title again. We're going to click on View Product on AliExpress. We're going to copy that URL again. And now we can close this tab and this one as well. And then we're going to go back to the AliExpress Review Importer. We're going to click on Import Reviews from AliExpress. We're going to paste that URL of the product. Now I'm going to go back to Oberlo to look at what the title of that product was, which is Travel Drawstring Cosmetic Bag. So now I'm going to come back over to the AliExpress Review Importer and I'm going to type in Travel. And here it is right here, Travel Drawstring Cosmetic Bag. So I'm going to click on it and then everything else is going to stay the same and then I'm going to hit import reviews. Now what I like to do is I like to do that for the entire page. So I'll go, I just finished that one, I'll go to this product, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all the way down to the last product just so I don't uh, forget where I left off at. And then once I have all this page done, then I'm going to go over to judge.me, which was the other tab that I told you to open in the beginning. And then we're going to click on reviews. And then reviews to curate. The reason we're going to click on reviews to curate is because those are the reviews that we just imported. And you have to, once they do get imported, you have to select whether or not um, you want to publish those reviews to your Shopify store. So now what I do is I like to go through these reviews and make sure that there's no uh, bad reviews. So like this one, color was way off, more of a mint green than a blue. Um, and I don't want that review imported into my store, so I'm gonna click on hide. And it's gonna hide that review. Now, I like to, um, I don't always highlight bad reviews because, you know, there's always going to be something about a product that somebody doesn't like. But if I feel they're kind of over the top in the review, and, and that one may that I just hid may have been one that I, I would have actually kept, but I just wanted to show you how to hide a review that you didn't want in your store. Uh, because he was just saying that the color was more of a mint green than... The green that it looked like online which is not really a bad review um, so I normally would have kept that one but I'll, I'll keep going through these and see if I could find another one and then also uh, you want to make sure that you hide any reviews that talk about price or that say the product took you know forever to get to them So I'm just real quickly going through these reviews, looking at what people are saying. And then also like reviews that I have no idea what they say, I'm gonna hide those as well because I, I have no idea what it says. Okay, this one right here, I'm gonna hide as well just because I don't really understand it and it's kind of seems like a good review good product packaging is terrible I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one because you know I, I don't want to just have all good reviews I, I, I will leave a, a couple of bad ones in there just so that people can see you know some of the concerns that people had uh, with purchasing the product And then this one right here, I'm going to hide that one as well. And then, so now that I've gone through all of these reviews, what I'm going to do is click this button right here and click publish. 
that's going to publish the remainder of the reviews. And I normally go into judge.me or, or this app after um, I do a page. So um, let me go back to Overlow. So once I do this entire page in AliExpress Review Importer, then I'll go to judge.me product reviews. I'll click on reviews, reviews to curate, and then I'll go through all those reviews. And then I'll go back to Overlow, and then I'll go to the next page, which would be page five for me. And then I'll start going through these products clicking on the title, viewing the product on AliExpress, copying the URL of the product, going back to Ali, AliExpress Review Importer, clicking that, pasting it, going through that whole process until I'm completely done with this page, and then I'll go into judge.me, go to reviews, reviews to curate and then go through those reviews and hide the ones that I don't want and then clicking on this little icon to check the rest of them and publishing them to the store. So that's all I got. I hope that uh, video made sense. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thanks.